Hi everyone, it's Glenn here again. I hope you're having a great day. Um, just with this build that I'm doing at the moment, the uh, 110 scale nitro, the Caldurandra, the C-A-L-D-E-R-A 3.0 build. Um, yeah, I'm still not sure how to pronounce it properly. Um, I'm gonna try to build as much as I possibly can at this present time. Um, I'm still waiting for like some items from the UK and all that to turn up. So once they turn up, We'll be able to throw bits and pieces on here and there. So please, like if I'm missing a few things, I'll explain to you what I'm missing. And I will, I'll try to get as much done as possible, but we'll see what time we have left by the end of it. So that's the chassis there, all nice and, don't know how shiny that's gonna stay after using it for once and twice, but that is the back of the car. I'm still waiting for this front section here to turn up the plastic bit from the UK. So we'll work on the back section with the diff, Arms, hopefully, we'll do the gearbox, I'm hoping to do as well. Um, sorry, the lower suspension arms, maybe the hubs, we'll see what happens and with time related. But I have built one of these um, diffs already. I did have to order this end piece by itself just here. I've got no bearings on here, as you can see. I'll put the bearings on before I put it all together. I had to buy this bit here separate. Um, I just, yeah, because I already had the diffs here. I didn't want to buy the whole kit for like 40, 50 odd dollars. So I only bought these little bits here and I had all these other parts here. So the diff actually feels pretty good, but I might open it up just here. Just see how much oil's in it. Um, and then we can go from there. So hopefully this is in view. So I'll undo these four screws here. If there's oil in there, we'll put it all back together. We'll grease her up a little bit, and then we'll put the bearings in as well, and yeah, we'll close her up. We don't need to open it after that. She'll be all good, so. But while I've got it apart, nothing worse than putting everything together and you go to run it, and then you end up stuffing one of your dips because it's just nothing in there. No oil or grease or no lubrication at all, and yeah. So, but I like to take this opportunity as well just to thank absolutely everyone that subscribed to my channel i can't believe we're at the 114 mark like it's absolutely unbelievable um if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be doing none of these videos so i'm really hoping you enjoy these videos and let me know what you want to see if you want me to do more of these type of builds let me know because i've got a few other builds to do as well so just give me a heads up and we'll go from there oh geez that's grease in there as you can see it's an oil it's a grease so i might I might load her up a bit more with grease, I think. If it's got that much in there, I might just put a little bit more. It seems really thick though, that grease, so I might. It might be no good. Um, sorry, I'm just searching for my little container of grease. So I've got the boat stuff in here, the waterproof and high temp stuff it is. Um, I might clean that out actually. It doesn't really, it's not, doesn't even smell that good. It smells, I don't know, like Play-Doh-ish, if that makes sense. Um, so I'll, I'll just give it a quick wipe. I'm not going to do a good job because, like I said, I'm not. This is just going to be a fun build. Um, I'll use it once every now and then, sort of thing. So it doesn't have to be spot on. So I'll just give this a quick wipe and over here. Hopefully you can see that, guys. Sorry, um, run that around like that. Just get as much as I can off. Um, but yeah. It's a bit weird. Um, I might use that small one. There we go. Just pop these out like that. And then you can see at the bottom, you've got the last gear in there. So we'll just wipe all this out. It's not like the HSP ones um, where, you know, when you want to take that center shaft out, you actually got to undo a grub screw at the bottom here to get it out. So I just, so I'm only going to give it a real quick wipe over um nothing nothing too good i'll probably have to do the front diff as well i'll, I'll probably end up doing that one off camera because it's still going to be the same basic way of doing it like this here so i've just got it in here wiping it out um yeah so so just make sure with the crosses there you feed them into that little i don't think it'll fit any other way but you just don't know um some people can make weird things happen, trust me. So like that. No, sh fuck, it's thick. Sorry about the language, but it's sticky. It's like glue. Oh my goodness. All right. 
May have should have just left it alone, I think. I don't know. And there goes that gear. Alright, now where did it go? Just bear with me guys, not working out already how I'd planned. Um now I've dropped it and I don't know where it's bloody gone. I'll be back in two seconds. I just gotta find that gear yeah, that's on the ground. So I can wipe it. Oh, found it. No worry, right in front of my eyes. Gee, don't even know where I wear glasses if I can't bloody see that there. Alright. So I'll just whack that back into there if you can see that on camera, hopefully. So it's sort of, it's wiped out sort of as you can see. It'll all work. Um Just gotta, just gotta make sure, see this piece here? There's a bit of a cutout. As you can see, that little flat spot there, make sure that's facing upwards. Um, just so then, I'll show you on this one here, they've both got the exact same, see that little flat bit just in the center there? Don't know if you're gonna see that guys, right there. Make sure that's facing down. And this one in here is facing up because you want these two to bind up on each other or otherwise you won't have your it will not like you watch now before it wouldn't work now they're all turning if i can put something oh no i might just turn my door like this see how they're all turning now before it was and it was only the bottom one turning because i didn't lock that in the other one fell over and wasn't ripping up so yeah see how it stops and it pushes up i just push it back down and it's fine to go again so just re just keep that in mind. If you do put it together, you go, ah, oh, no, that's not working. Well, you know what you've done is just so you have to, um, yeah, spin that around. So just a heads up anyway and give you something to look at and remember. So I'll just, just loading this up full of grease. Just want it to move around a bit. Don't, don't want it all to run dry. So I try to turn it to suck some of it down underneath like it is, as you can see. Oh, sorry, as you can see, now I just push some more in there. I like to fill these up, um, just so nothing's really running dry, and you've always got lubrication there, just for it to not be full-on metal to metal, like it's supposed to, yes, but, you know, I like just to, like I said, it's only going to be used probably once or twice, it'll probably sit there, so I'll probably help stop down the track with dirt and shit getting in there. Oh my goodness, that orange shit's everywhere. Um... Yeah, they'll stop getting all the shit in there because it'll be that full. It'll probably, as you'll probably see, it'll probably squeeze out the side, but it doesn't really worry me too much. So now we just line up this top section here. I'll put the screws in so I know where roughly it is. Oop. Just trying to find it like that. Hope you can see these guys. Put this here so yeah i'd just like to thank everyone that's, that has subscribed watching my videos i really hope you're enjoying them and like i said if you want me to do something if you enjoy these type of videos i'll do a lot more of these than what i'm doing um if yeah just let me know what you really want to see and i'll try to make it happen i'm not going to say i will um not not straight away anyway but i might be able to down the track or if i was going to do that next well i'll let i'll let you know you know, so, oh, that's not lining up. So, like, yeah, so just let me know. It's not just my channel, it's your channel channel as well, because you are all subscribed and watching, and you are letting me know what I'm doing wrong, right? Um, yeah, watch is want to watch. So I'm more than happy to listen and hopefully give you the content that you are after. Um, so, yeah. So I'm just doing up these four screws here. So all that's done now. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done of this today. Um, I do have quite a bit. I've got the gearbox there, the two-speed gearbox that I could put together. Um, I've got the diff here that I've just done that. Um, the grease too. I do have a few parts to go around the outside of it. Um, the motor mount. I've got the lower suspension arms to put on there as well. I think I have the front hub carriers as well. So I could always do that too. 
It's just the matter of um how much time we're gonna have, and this here is not really the easiest bloody thing to put back on. So I can't see where where they screwed onto. Sorry guys, I know you can't see because I can't even bloody see it. Um, where is it? Yeah, I've got to undo these other ones again. These other ones are in, but they weren't in. I missed the marker. So when I thought I was going in, it wasn't going in. So that's the only problem with these here. Once you put all that grease on there, it's just hard to find where the screw holes are. That's the hardest part is just trying to put all this back together again. Um, now hopefully we should be right. Once you get one in, the rest just the rest are right. It's just that bloody one that wants to fight you. And then the rest, once you get one in, or even two in's even better. Once you get them lined up properly, you're set. That's it. The rest would just go in like nothing. But you just gotta, you just gotta move it around a bit and just to try to get in that right bloody spot. Which for some reason it's not wanting to go back in. So I might have to clean all the grease off around the top of it and try to clear out the holes. So then I know exactly where they are because it's not. Where's my rag? It's not exactly wanted to go in. I can't find. Oh, there you are. The way off. Wasn't even close, guys. Wasn't even close. Okay. I wasn't even close to getting it in there. So now let's see how we go. Eh? I'll screw this down a bit so at least I can line it up. But yeah, I wasn't even close to where they were supposed to screw into. I was actually screwing it actually into the little corner bits where the diff went. Or not the diff, but you know where the gears go. So just bear with me. If you want to fast forward this section, by all means, I'm not making you want to watch this. Because um, it's, yeah, like I said, it's a pain in the ass, this type of thing. But it's best to do it now than, you know, like have it all built. You go, yep, I'm ready to run it. And then you realise it's making a weird ass noise from the diff. And, you know, you're all excited. Oh, you bugger. Have all excited, ready to go. And then, then nothing, you know. Or you do have something, but then you've got to wait for more parts to turn up because you've stuffed your diff. So, but yeah, that's that part done. Um. Oh my goodness. Oh. You know what? Can't bloody find where that screw went to now. Bet you'll find it when you don't need it, like always. Just bear with me, guys. Um, like I said, by all means, if you want to fast forward this section, fast forward it. Um, yeah, go from there. Just trying to find this bloody screw, which I can't find it, so I may have to... Um, I may have to just get one from out of my box that will fit it. Uh, where are we here? Where are they? Actually, I should have some in this packet here that will probably fit it. Yeah. Alright, I'll open this packet. I'm not going to find it otherwise, so I'll just go with me. I'll just get one out of here. Um, there we go. See, after this part, putting this back together again, it should be pretty straightforward to put all this back on and close it all up, screw it all in. Just got to figure out what we're going to do. If you can hear my son in the background, yeah, he's just on his PC playing with his friends, so hopefully he's not too noisy for you. I gave him a heads up that I was recording, but he doesn't see himself being that loud when he's gaming, so 
but he gets a bit carried away sometimes. If you want to follow him as well, it's um, DDW Gaming, or Capitals. Um, he plays a variety of different games online, PC, PS4. Um, yeah, jump online if you're into like gaming and all that type of stuff. And like having a laugh at someone when they stuff up or if they get murdered or whatever else happens on their games, whatever they're playing. Jump on there and have a look. So yeah, I'm just tightening these up here now. Like this here. That's it. Now she's all together. And here there's no noise. There's nothing. Which that's a good sign. So now also with these gearings, if it's if you notice, see how it fits on both directions. You don't for me, I don't really know until so I've never built one of these from the ground up and there's no instructions because it never came in a kit, it came in as a ready to run car. So with that there, what I do, I just sit it one way where I think it should be. I put it on. If it doesn't, if the four wheel drive doesn't turn properly, I just swap these around. I spin the first one around, oh yep, it works. I would, no, the second one, yep, I spin them both around. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, that's what I normally do. I don't, yeah, I'm not too sure. Some some go one way, some go the other. Um, like I said, I'm no professional, but this is what I sort of do. Um, this is how I learn. So I just, yeah, whatever whatever I learn now, it saves you all that time as well when you do it, or when you want to do this one day, at least you go, oh no, that, that was a stuff up. It was supposed to go the other way. At least you already know straight off the bat, so then, you aren't wasting your time like I waste my time trying to reverse everything after building it all. So I just put a little bit of grease on there as you can see. Just so it's got a little bit of lubrication as well. So it's just not plain metal to metal. Which, you know, that shouldn't really matter. They don't really matter even from factory. But that's just me. I'm, oh, you know, I forgot. The bloody bearings. Okay. The bearings on this side part here. Just Sorry, just... You want to have a look? This is what I want to try to get through today. All that just there. And then you've got this stuff here. So if you hear me fumbling around with parts, that's because it's all over here. Um, that's the part that I bought as well to fit it. Um, that's the code there if you need a code for it. You've got two choices. You've got the 17 and the 16. Um, I bought the 16 just to try it out. If it didn't work, well then I bought the 17. But the 16 works, so I was ecstatic about that. So I was really hoping it was going to work. Oh. I didn't really want to, you know, buy another lot. Just because the 16 didn't work. So, what I'll do, I'll grab this here, drop it over top, and I'll force over the little plastic sleeve there. It's a pretty tight fit. There we go. She's on there. It's a pretty tight fit over the plastic. Just be just be in mind, see, there it is there. And that just sits over top of that little plastic bit just there. So you push that all the way on. Just make sure you get it on straight. Or otherwise, once you try buckling it on there, she won't go. Um I need a bit more grip now since I lube this up. Doesn't want to, can't get no grip on it now. So just bear with me, guys. I know you can't see nothing, so I've got it in my hand here, but there we go. Done. Ugh, done. All right. Actually, that's not done. Let's still lift it up a little bit. I want to get it dead on straight. <clears throat> there we go. Like a glove. All right. They're on there now, the bearings, as you can see. What I'll do, I'll just whack a little bit more grease around this here. Um, just so I don't have to open this back up again, and then we can move on to the next. So just put a little bit of grease all the way around. Doesn't matter how messy it gets, it's all hidden anyway. As long as it's all got a little bit of grease on it, it's the main thing. Just like so. Hopefully you see all that. 
So now I'll just I'll just drop it in where I think it's gonna go. If not, I'll pull it, I'll pull this back apart and I'll explain to you if I did do it wrong or not. Honestly, at the moment it doesn't really worry me too much because you know it won't take me much to pull it apart. Figure it out, and there we go. It's all in there. Just like that. Yeah, the bearings have split there. Yep. Bearings are in there. Yeah, that's good to get me more. There we go. Ah, that's better. That's better. Had a bit of trouble there for a second. So the bearing just wasn't in far enough. So now that's in. Just like so. So now, what we'll do, because that there will sit like that, similar to that there. Um, then we have your bulkhead part here as well. That will sit onto the back end like that. So what we'll do, we'll get some screws for this here to put into the holes here. So I'll just have a look and see if I have um, three, by, I think by 10 might be good length. Yep. Okay, so we'll do M3 by 10s. Straight down into here. You know what? We'll get the drill. Might be a little bit quicker for us since we're already on the 22 minute and we haven't even done nothing yet. So, sort of want to at least do a little bit more than just that. Like, I don't want to stretch these out too far, but at the end of the day, I, you know, I want to at least do a fair bit of, um, I want to do a few more builds a bit more stuff on here than just sticking this out, you know. Because everyone would think you're trying to run it out, but really no one wants to sit here and watch a two hour video on how to build something like this either. That's why I like to do it in little sections, that's all. Um, on another one. I'm trying to find the ones with the Phillips heads on them. I don't really like the Allen key ones too much. When you got to put them into here, because if you flog them out, then you're really going to fuck the plastic up or melt the plastic while you're trying to get it, trying to get it off. So, but I'm not overly tightening these up anyway. I'm just doing just doing it tight enough to hold. Um, I'm not going to do this front section here with the screws, um, only because I think something's got to be bolted on there. Done. So now that will sit on there like so. But also we could put the bulkhead on there as well. So what I'll do is I will screw this down first. I just had to think about what I was going to do. See which is the best way. Um, actually, maybe for all of that, we should put these side skirts on too. So we'll hook into that. Let's try to get a roll going on here, eh? So maybe on the next video, I might do the gearbox and stuff. Um, we'll just wait and see. I just want to have a look and see how this is going to go on. I don't know if it's, I think it's this way like that. I think because the exhaust will be running down to the front from the motor. So I think it, I think it would be similar to that. So we'll whack that on and we'll just see, um, yeah, if it's wrong, we can always change it. That's all. That's a good thing about this type of hobby. If it's wrong, you just change it to make it right. What's a couple of screws if it's wrong? So I'm hoping you can see this. I just got to put these screws at the bottom here. I'm just going to screw these in by hand only because it is going into plastic and I'll f and you could probably flog the plastic out very, very easily. So I'll just fit this on here as well. We'll see how we go. But yeah, thanks for everyone for their patience as well. 
with this build that I'm trying to do, um, like I said, it's not going to be done overnight. But I want to try, like, I don't want to do like my 1 8 scale where I've done too many videos, if that makes sense. Like, I want to try to get this done within a few videos, not go, oh, yep, we're waiting for this, waiting for that. So, one week I may be doing this video, and then I might not do it. Only because I'll be waiting for parts, but I will get this done on there. I don't think this is the right side. I really don't think it's the right side. I think it's for the other side. Um, well, it might not for, be for this at all, because it's just not going in. So that's the plan. I just want to, um, I want to try to get this done in less videos than my um, 1X scale build one. But within saying that, it's... It's not that easy, you know, like I'm um, trying to wait for parts from overseas and stuff like that. And I still want to bring out content for you guys because I know how much you like watching my videos and stuff. I don't think this is the right one. I think they sent me the wrong bloody part. Oh, no. Oh, no. She lines up. I just got to bloody force it. Okay. All right. She lines up. I just have to really buckle it into place. So yeah, that's that's the only reason. I really want to still bring out content for you guys to so watch what I'm doing. But I may be doing like a little bit of this because I've got that front section here, the plastic bit for this front section here. That, I'll zoom it out a little bit, guys, sorry. That front section here, the plastic bit, it's not going to be here to the end of next month. Um, it's still coming from all the way over from the UK. So that's why I'm saying like within saying not doing a video and I'm up to that section, well, I may have to just do a video on something else. And then when that turns, when the parts start to like slowly turning up, I'll try to accumulate a few parts for you. And then we'll, um, yeah, I might just try the drill. It's going to be a little bit easier, I think. Um, yeah, so then at least then you've got content to watch, I suppose, with something different. And then we'll just, we may have a few projects going at once. We might have this build. I've got a, another... Oh, I don't want to give too much away, but I've got another two builds that I can do. So, just, I'm not going to give too much away at the moment. Um, but they are going to be pretty big builds as well. And one of them is from the ground up like this one here, yes. Which I'm giving that one away, but the other one's already... Yeah, so that one is going to go in. Just hold on to it a minute, guys. Um, yeah, so one, one is another build like this here. But the other one's already built. But within saying that, um, it's going to be a little bit better, if that's making sense. I don't know. I don't want to... I'm trying not to give too much away, that's all. But it's going to be a pretty big build in sense-wise with um, what I want to do to it. And it is, it is a 1.8 scale anyway, but that's, yeah. This end bit here, sorry, I've really got to bend it up. Not bend it up, but try to pull it up while I'm trying to screw it, that's all. Just so it goes into that hole. So just bear with me. Can't even fucking get it. Sorry about the language. Um, sorry about the language. Just trying to figure out how to get this last section in. I might just have, look, you know what? I'll leave it and I'll do that bit off camera. I'll put this other piece on. I'm not gonna play around with it too much for you guys. Um, you see this other side seems to look like, oh yeah, the holes are just the hair out. That's the issue, okay. The, head, the holes are just slightly out on these guys. That's why the M1's hard to do. So what I've got to do is re-loosen them all just so I can move it just enough to be able to um, put the last one in. So I'm not going to... I won't... I'll just do that off camera. Um, yeah. And that's my dog snoring. He's got a hard life, as you can hear. Um, just do this here. Just want to line this up. Sounds like he's dead asleep. He's actually snoring. Deep snore. So, sorry about this, guys. Take a so long to do this, but this is the joys of 
building. Um, and when you, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna edit none of this. I just wanna show you, you know, sometimes, sometimes things go together really easy and other times you have to fight the thing into place and try to get it to line up and everything else. And that's just part of, have, that's the part of building. That's the part of having fun doing this job, doing this hobby. Um, you know, I find this is the best part. I like building. No matter how much it frustrates you because, oh, this is not lining up, that's not lining up, or that's not going there, that's not working properly, well, this is why I still like this hobby. I actually enjoy doing this type of stuff, even if it doesn't go together because when you sit back at the end of the day and after running something that you've built from the ground up or you've modified and it actually works and goes, that's that's what makes makes it all worthwhile. It's just... Yeah, just enjoying it. You know what, I might leave this. Look, I'll leave this screw out here. I'll leave this screw out here. I'll fix these off camera so we're not stuffing around too much. But that's that section there done. So now we'll get the diff. We'll screw that in underneath here. Oh, is that for the front? Okay. You know what? May have just learned something else. Where's the other? Where's the other? Okay. So that one there's like that. Hmm. Oh, now I get it. Okay. So now we'll just fit that into here, we'll put the screws in, like so, get it into there, I might be better off just trying to screw it in I think, because she's going to be really hard to screw in because these plastics have never, well, they're, they're brand new plastics. So, once they bring your plastics, it's a lot harder to screw screws in just to make that first initial thread to go in. Um, so yeah, I just put one in there, put four screws in. I will line up this one here just slightly better. There we go. Straight in. So I'll show you what's going on here. Once I'm done, that's three. So I'm not over tightening. As soon as it, I hear a little bit of tension come on, I stop. I don't want to flog that plastic out. Once you flog the plastic out, you either got to use slightly bigger screws or you have to um, buy a new diff. That's tight. That's tight. There we go, like that there. And now we'll get these bulkheads just here. But like I said, I'm going to, this build here, I don't know what I'm doing, to be dead set honest, I'm not going to bullcrap you guys. Um, this build here is just, I'm learning on what I've got to do, which they don't seem like they fit. Um, I'm still learning what I've got to do. So all I'm doing is, if I think it's supposed to go that way, I don't, there we go, that fits just there. So you got the two holes on the bottom that fit straight into them two holes there. So once I push them in, line them up, push them in, now they're in. And that there are your pins will go through these little bits here. Your pins will go through there where the pins here, these here, will go into there. And then you'll be able to put your, um, there. Your lower suspension arms, which this might be another issue because I'm not sure if the shocks go at the front or maybe behind. I think they sit at the front of the... So that they will be facing sort of like that, I'm thinking. But we'll have a look when we put it on there and see if it looks right. So what I'll do now, I'll screw this on, put a couple of screws into there. Yep, put a couple of screws into the back of this. So that will hold that into place. And that there, 
screw it straight to the back of the diff. Like that. To support it. So yeah, like I was saying, I don't know what I'm doing. So at the end of the day, if I do something wrong, let me know. Um, yeah, like I said, this is a this is not a kit that you'd normally um, buy to build. This was already a kit ready to run when you bought it. So I'm just trying to do something completely out of the unordinary, um, just to see if I can do it. That's all it is. Um, so now I need where is it? Um, there. So I need these bad boys here. They're going to sit up the front. And I've got to put the pins in. So the pins will slip in between here. And you push it all the way into here. And the pins will go in between those arms. So that will sit somewhat... like that but i'm not sure if i've got to put the pins in first or after so i'll get the pins and open them up so i'm hoping this is but like i said i might have to pull this apart five or six times over before i know that i've got it right that's all but i'll just you know like if he's if he's can help me and say oh like you know that's not supposed to be done like that or i've got one of them and it's supposed to be like this well let me know it's fine um you know, I, like I said, I haven't built one of these ones before, so it's all I learn as I go as well. So, but those pins aren't long enough. All right, I need to order longer pins. Um, I thought these were long enough for this, but they're not. So I'll have to have a look for them. So we'll bypass the pin idea at the moment, and this idea, this is what I mean. I thought I had the right size pins, but I don't. I measured the wrong most probably. Um, so on to the next, we'll probably, you know what, we'll, does that fit, or is that for something else? No, that's for a one eight scale, okay. Won't be using these either, that's for a one eight scale. So back in the part box you go. So now what we'll do, we'll put that aside, and we'll have a go at building a gearbox. What do you think? Um... I don't have a spur gear for it or anything, but I really can't see why we couldn't make a start, I guess. Um, and like I've said plenty of times, I've never built one of these neither. So there's a two-speed gear, just there. So I'm just trying to see how it fell. Yeah, that will fit in there like so, I think, because it's always good. No, it will go that way, would it? Yeah. It must go that way, like so, because I'll take, yeah, it's all. I'm not too sure. Uh, no, nah, I think it goes the other way. What's that? I think it must go, because that hub part there must have to sit inside here, like so, I'm guessing. See how you've got just enough out there to grab hold of, like for the um cup. So what I'll do, I'll put a bearing on either side of, oh, there you go, they pull apart. You got a pin that's separating them that must grip in between like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I've never done nothing like this. So I put a, I put a bearing on there. Um, now that bearing, that bearing is, oh, I can't even think what it is now. I'll have to let you know what size bearing. Um, Yeah, it's, I think it's 9586 or 9386, I think the bearing is. Um, yeah, 5 by 10 by 4, this bearing is. So, 4 millimeters inside, 10 wide, and, f no, sorry, I boozed that up, didn't I? It is... I've got to look for it again. Yeah, so five inside, five millimeters inside diameter where that hole is there. That's five millimeters. By 10 millimeters all the way around the outside. By four millimeters wide. That's how big that bearing is. So if I put the bearing on, sit it on the housing there like so. Should fit inside that housing. Yep. Just like that. 
There you go. So now I've got this other part here that will need that bearing as well. So now that there, that gear, that here goes to your drive. So your wall drive, you know, for the front and rear. This here, that's where your spur gear will be going onto with your slipper clutch. Onto that. Which I don't know if I don't know if I should run a slipper eliminator, see so as you can see. Like I said, I've never done this before, so it actually I'm pretty surprised that it fits in that well. Um, I'll get another bearing just here. They're all the same size bearing. So let's force that in there, push that into there, like so. I'm not going to worry about greasing this here too much because um, it is all plastic gearing. So if something happens, they're both going to strip out, I guess. I don't think the amount of grease will help. Um, but hey, if I'm wrong, let me know. If I'm wrong, if you're supposed to grease the two-speed gearboxes, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Like I said, I'm still... Trying to figure all this out. And then inside here, you need another two bearings. You need one for the top and one for the bottom. The top one, nothing. Actually, yeah, the top one, nothing comes out of because it's this part here. But you still need that bearing so that sits in there straight and doesn't want to flop around too much. So I just you just press the bearing into this top section here. Like so, if you can see that. And these are a sealed bearing as well. I just had them spare. I bought some, but they're not coming from the UK either for quite a while. So now I'll just close that up. And there you go. That's our that's our two-speed gearbox all done, set and done. Um, but I may have that on backward because we need to put a brake on there. We need to put the brake lever and stuff on there which that's something else we might have to look into because i forgot to get that out um but yeah we'll look into that oh that hurt um we will look into that another time because we're going on to 42 minutes at the moment so and it looks like i've done speed fa to it unfortunately um yeah, so I think that should do it. I'm just trying to find the the break and all that in here. I've got to, yeah, I might have to buy the longer pins as well. That's the other issue. I've got to look at the pins, see what size I need. But if I can get the pins to work with etches on, I'll show you what I did and what I stuffed up on and all that as well. But I'll look into that as well and just see if I can find out what size pins I need and that type of thing. That's for the front diff, the front diff there. Yeah, I can't find the brakes. I know they're in here in this bag of parts, but it's just a matter of just trying to empty it all out and try to find it. So I won't, I won't worry about it at the moment. Um, I'll wrap it up, to be honest, because we've been going for nearly an hour, and I know people don't want to hear me talk for even that long, to be honest. But I hope you sort of like what I've done today. Oh, there it is there. I found it. Just there. We're going to try to fit that whole brake system onto this here and get all that up and operational too. But we'll figure that out. The next one, um, oh, sorry, not been now. It's been 43 minutes. So I think that's enough for you hearing my voice. I think you'd be bit, like a bit sick of it um, at the moment. So just, yeah, so just with this here, um, yeah, we did put the side bits on. I've just got to, like I said, undo them a little bit just to make them fit. They'll fit. Don't worry about that. It's just slightly out. Um, we've got the diff on. We've re-greased the back diff. We've put that little bit on there. Um, we just need to get longer pins. But I might just double check. I might have a look at that because I could be... I might be wrong. But we'll soon... We'll, we'll see. Um, like I said, it's going to be a, an up and down sort of build. One day we might... Do a heap of stuff and the next day we might do next to nothing only because i don't have the parts but i may do another video just to make up for that so but look if you like what i'm doing here let me know give me a thumbs up like my video share it around if you know people that want to get into start building stuff if you want to see more of this type of stuff well i'm more than happy to do it um yeah just let me know um thanks to everyone for watching subscribing thanks for liking all my videos and yeah, thanks for everything. Thanks for getting me up to the 114 mark. It means an absolute, means so much to me, like you all wouldn't believe. I'm very happy with that. 
I'm hoping to do a hell of a lot more of these type of builds, but I just would like for you, like I said, just to bear with me because waiting for parts and vice versa, we might have a few builds going just to just keep this channel going. So thank you very much. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. See ya.